Hi everyone! Uh, for today's video, uh, we will discuss factoring perfect square trinomial. So, ang formula for perfect square trinomial ay kapag nasa form tayo na a squared plus or minus 2ab plus b squared, that is simply equal to uh, quantity a plus or minus b squared. Okay, so para, para wag kayong malito, ipaghiwalay natin ito. So, we have a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So, the, uh, this is equal to a plus b squared. And then, if the sign is negative, so if we have a squared minus 2ab plus b squared, so that is equal to a minus b squared. So, take note that the last term is always positive. So, the middle term is plus or minus and the first term and the last term are always uh, both positive. So, the factored form is a plus b squared and then a minus b squared. Okay, so let's try to solve these five examples. So, if these are a perfect square trinomial. Okay, so example number one. So, example number one, x squared plus 6x plus 9. So, first step is get the square root. Let's see is if the first and the last term are perfect square. So, just get the square root of get the square root of x squared. So, that is x. And then 9 is also a perfect square. The square root of 9 is 3. So, just... And then, if the middle term is... If the middle term is twice the product of the square root of the first and the last term then it is a perfect square trinomial. So we have square root of x squared is x, square root of 9 is 3, just multiply it by 2. So we multiply x, 2, and 3, that is equal to 6x, which is the middle term. So if the product of the square root of first and second times 2 is the middle term, therefore the trinomial is a perfect square trinomial so that the factor of this uh, perfect square trinomial is just the square root. And then, the sign is the sign of the middle term. So the factor of this is x and then 3. The sign is the sign of this. So x plus 3 square. Okay, so this is the factored form So of this uh, perfect square trinomial. Okay, so next number. So next number. So just get the square root. Square root of the first, okay, square root of x squared, that is x. Square root of 64, so that is 8. 8 squared is 64. And then multiply it by 2. So x times 2 times 8, that is equal to 16x, which is the middle term. Okay, so therefore, this is a perfect square trinomial. So the factored form is, yeah, so the factored form is x, 8 squared, the sign is, the sign of the middle term negative. So we have x minus 8 squared. Okay, so next number, number 3. So number 3, so let's uh, get the square root of the first and the second. So square root of 25, that is 5. Is square root of x squared is x. Is square root of 36, so that is equal to 6. And then just multiply it by 2. So let's see if we multiply this, the product should be 60x. Okay, so we have 5 times 2, that is equal to 5 times 2 is 10, times 6, that is equal to 60x, which is the middle term. So the sign of the middle term is negative, so therefore, the factor of this perfect square trinomial is 5x, the sign is negative, so minus the square root of 36, 6, and then square. Okay, so next number, number 3. So, for number 3, so we can see that the exponents are not uh, square. So, first, uh, we will use the common monomial since they all have they all have x. So, we can factor we can factor the x by common monomial. So, we have ab plus ac that is equal to just factor out the common. So, we have a times b plus c. So for this, we can factor out the x. Okay, so factor out x. So we have x cubed divided by x. So that will be x squared. So, and then we just copy the 5. 
5x squared or simply subtract 1 to the exponent. So we have 5x squared minus 30, subtract 1 to the exponent since we factor out uh, 1x. So we have minus 30x plus, we, we already factored this, so plus 45. So now we will apply, since it is now a square, uh, it's now a quadratic quadratic uh, trinomial. So let's find out if this is a perfect square trinomial. Okay. But uh, we can still uh, factor, we can still factor uh, 5 because 5, 30, and 45, they are all divisible by 5. And if we if we factor uh 35 and 5 are not perfect square so we can uh we can factor out 5 so we factor out the 5 so this will be cancelled out and then divide 30 by 5 30 divided by 5 this this will be 6 and then 45 divided by 5 this will become 9 so now uh we can use the perfect square trinomial since 9 is a perfect square and also x square so x squared, square root of x squared is x, square root of 9 is 3. And then multiply it by 2, x times 2 times 3, that is equal to 6x. So therefore, the factor of this trinomial is x, and then the sign is negative, and then we have 3, and then square. So just copy the 5x. So this is the complete factor of 5x cubed minus 30x squared plus 45x. So we have 5x times quantity x minus 3 is squared. Okay. So last example, number 5, 16x squared plus 40xy plus 25y squared. So the, our last term is, uh, so we have quadratic trinomial in two variables. So same formula. So same formula. So 16 is 16x 16 squared is a perfect square. 25y squared also a perfect square. So get the square root. So the square root of 16x squared is 4x. The square root of 25y squared is 5y. And then just multiply this. Multiply 4x and 5y and multiply that by 2 to see if this is the perfect square trinomial. So we have 4 times 2 is 8 times 5 is 14. So the product, product is 40xy, which is the middle term. So the sign is positive. So therefore, the factored form is the first term and or the square root of the first term 4x copy the sign of the middle positive and then the square root of 25y squared which is 5y so we have 4x plus 5y square okay so if the product of the square root of the square root of the first term and the second term times 2 does not satisfy the middle term therefore the trinomial is not a perfect square. So it, it can be a prime. It, it can be prime factor or we can just write not factorable. Or we can try also the previous uh, type of factoring, the difference of two square, the trial and error, and so on. Okay, so I hope you learned something from this video. So thank you for watching and thank you for watching. And if you have a math question, just comment your question in my channel or in my FB group, or just DM me in my messenger, RJ Enseñado. So bye-bye and God bless.